Welcome. In this video, we're going to be learning about antibodies, mainly their structure and function. So let's start with antibody structure. An antibody is a protein which looks like this. It has two heavy chains and two light chains. The heavy chains are made of more amino acids that are joined together, hence why they are longer and called heavy. So in total, we have four polypeptide chains that are joined together. This means an antibody has a quaternary structure. The polypeptide chains are joined together by disulfide bridges. This area is known as the constant region. It's responsible for allowing the antibody to bind to white blood cells. Okay, next. This area is known as the hinge region. The hinge region is very important as it gives the antibody flexibility. And we'll see why this is important later. This area is known as the antigen binding site. Every antibody has two of these. That means one antibody can bind to two antigens at the same time. What we have here is an antigen antibody complex. However, we know that antigens have different shapes. So let's see how the antibody responds to that. These areas are called the variable regions. That means they can be made of different sequence of amino acids. This gives us unique shapes of different antibodies to suit all the different types of antigens. Perfect, we've learnt about antibody structure. Let's move on to antibody function. To make things easier, we're going to represent this antibody by this diagram. Okay, so one of the first functions of an antibody is called agglutination. So let's say we have lots of pathogens moving around the body. All of them are moving independently, which could make it difficult for white blood cells to get them one by one. However, because of agglutination, the antibodies are going to join together like this. This helps to clump up all the pathogens in one space, making it easier for the white blood cell to eat them all up in one go. So a good way to remember this is agglutination has the word glue in it, and we know that glue is sticky, and these antibodies stick the pathogens together. The next function is called opsonization. Once the antibodies have bonded to the pathogens, they now need to call the white blood cells to come and eat them up. So let's see how this plays out. So just remember, ops and cops. We call the cops when it's time to get rid of the pathogens. And finally, we have neutralization. Let's say on the left we have a virus, it's trying to enter a host cell. Now before it can bind to the host cell, the antibodies will bind around the antigen. This means the pathogen can no longer enter, and as a result, it can't divide anymore. So these are the three main functions of antibodies. Hey guys! If that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.